Hello there, my beautiful Libra friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. All right, everyone, on October the 10th, we have a very powerful portal that is going to be open and active for us. This is the 1010 portal. It's a portal of the manifester and the creator. It's bringing in an energy of completion and new beginnings. And this is where spirit is going to encourage us to recognize the power within us of the creator. And this is where the manifesting, that energy of infinite possibilities is there. So spirit is actually asking us to unleash our energies and become the co-creator of our desired reality. Now this is going to be a really good day to light candles, set intentions, and what I'm going to do for everyone is create a reading around this portal activation where we actually all take part together in a manifestation ritual including candles. So mark your calendars down. I don't know what date it's going to be yet actually. It's going to be this weekend. So keep an eye out for this everyone. All right, so what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with a manifestation oracle card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what energy is coming in for you. I'm going to pull a bonus card from the messages from the spirits of nature oracle and then close off with an angel number. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Libra, let's call in spirit and open up your reading. See what it is that spirit would like you to hear around this 1010 portal. So we are getting for you, my friends, gratitude is riches. Gratitude is riches. So the message here is the daily practice of gratitude is one of the conduits by which your wealth will come to you. Okay, this was written by Wallace Waddles. So once again, the daily practice of gratitude is one of the conduits by which your wealth will come to you. Okay, so practice gratitude here, everyone. All right, the energy of gratitude is all around you. Spirit is wanting you to embrace it and apply it in your life. So let's pull some tarot cards. We are getting the page of wands. We are stepping into this new journey. Some of you have been feeling the journey that you've been on. Perhaps you've been in a place of uh, feeling like you've been the lone wolf or you've been kind of um, battling the world by yourself. This is the energy that I'm picking up here with this card. You're opening up to a new energy right now. So spirit is wanting you to um, look at your world through a bigger vision. Okay, so the page of wands to start. We also have the three of wands. So as you're moving along your journey, perhaps you've been in a cycle, a place in your life um, that has been consistent for you for a long time. You're about to change direction here. This is what the Three of Wands is letting me know for you. So look at that, everyone, a change of direction. There's expansion happening. And uh, with the Pentacles, uh, Knight of Pentacles, I've got freedom. I'm seeing you really moving quickly towards the things that you want to see. Uh, happening in your life. This is a desired reality that you're making true for yourself by taking the necessary actions, planning and preparing here, everyone. Okay, so a lot of fast movement in your life. Now, I want you to use your own intuition with my reading today. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Now, this is going to strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. So look at that, everyone. And if you're seeing the numbers 11, 3, and the number 12, these are all confirmations that there's something in this reading for you today. But also the number 11, 3, and uh, one, two in that sequence. 
Okay, so before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon, rising and Venus signs. All right, page of wands. Some of you have gone through a lot in your life. Maybe you're still going through a lot, but what I'm seeing are the mountains in the distance. And it almost feels like you've been at the bottom of this mountain and going through all the paths, all the little, um, you know, ways that you can move through a mountain up and down. So this has been a long journey full of its ups and downs for some of you. Maybe this was a cycle in your life and maybe you experienced something in that cycle. And what Spirit is wanting you to know is there's a change coming into your life this month of October and it's being set in by this 1010 portal. Okay, something is being activated within you that is asking you or calling you to change direction in your life. This could come in as a career change or shifting gears somewhere in your life. Um, maybe switching your mind on something that you had started. Like it's really interesting, even like moving to a different uh, country, a city, a new home. I'm seeing a change. It's different than what you're already experiencing. Some of you are already experiencing this change in your life. Know that this is a change that um, can be anything you desire it to be. You can experience it in the way you choose to experience it as well, right? It's through your mindset, the way you choose to perceive your world, the way you choose to show up in it. Now, those of you that haven't grabbed my 14 day mindset challenge ebook, I've got a link for you in the description box below. It's everything that I do in my own life to keep myself balanced and aligned. Right. So again, the link for this ebook is in the description box below. But mindset is going to play a huge role on how this new reality, this new shift in your life is going to be experienced. Right. So spirit is wanting to actually set a goal here, everyone. I feel that especially if you're moving in a new direction, um, doing something different in your life, it, I just feel it's a, a complete shift for some of you. Perhaps you have been on a journey where you've been by yourself. You've been single, single for a long time. I'm seeing you finding love. You may find love overseas, somewhere that's not where you are living. This is what I'm getting here is a long distance relationship. Or perhaps this is a person that isn't from your country, okay, or isn't from your city. Like it, there's a, it's overseas for sure. I'm getting water and I'm seeing a different country here. So perhaps you're even traveling. Okay, perhaps this new direction is travel for you. Spirit is wanting you to set a goal around it. They want you to actually visualize it as a really good and positive experience for you. What would that look like? How would that go in your mind to visualize that? This is not you visualizing the future. This is you just visualizing this uh, next uh, version of your life, how you want it to look. How can you, what kind of actions can you take to actually make this a reality in your life. I feel it also starts with your mindset. Again, they keep bringing up the mind. We have to choose to wake up every single day. So the sun comes up every morning for us. Every single day, it's there shining its light. Spirit wants you to wake up every single morning to shine your light, to come from a place of love, happiness, kindness, and compassion, right? And there's a lot of things that are happening within this card. And what I'm picking up is the energy of some of your minds, the thoughts, all the things that you're thinking. I feel that you need to release yourself out of your mind, not to live in your mind, but actually bring yourself to your present moment. Practice doing this every day, like release any kind of thoughts and just take a look at where you are. What is it that you're feeling? How does your body feel? What environment are you in? What is that making you feel like? This is all about tuning into yourself because you're yourself, your soul is going to guide you. There's a lot of guidance in this card right now for you, Libra, and there's a new journey, a new path that you're going to set off on. And this is happening for some of you, October and others. I'm seeing this preparation, right? This is coming through the Knight of Pentacles, uh, preparing maybe for the new year and doing something different there, adding maybe a new practice in your life, like exercise, right? I'm getting a lifestyle change coming up. So a, a new journey within your journey that is moving in a different direction and you're feeling this breeze, you're receiving the signs as well. So these signs can be coming in as an 1111 for you, right? So... I'm also getting some of you that are, um, that have elevated to a new frequency and a new vibration. And here it's different, 
right? And maybe you're in a place right now where people have parted or you're fe finding that you're feeling detached or lonely because people don't understand you or your energy right now or you're trying to build some healthy boundaries and choose who you want to um, give your energy to, whose energy you want to enter your life. This is the three of wands. I'm getting a lot of contemplation, a lot of thinking around this, but also this application and practice around becoming the stronger version of you that is now showing people how you want to be treated. And sometimes this can feel like a lonely place. It can make us feel like we're detached or there's something wrong with us, but in fact, there isn't. I feel when there's a transition phase that some of you are going through right now where you're coming into this version of yourself that is no longer in alignment with the energies that used to uh, surround itself with, surround yourself with, right? So you're moving to this different energy, again, where you need to get acquainted, you have to get used to it, uh, learn to work with it. And it's, it's a beautiful energy. You're feeling, you're feeling the, very, the positivity around this energy. And um, they're wanting you to make a commitment and decide that you are going to, in fact, move along this journey. Some of you maybe have been waiting. Perhaps you had one foot in, one foot out around something that you're trying to do here. Spirit is wanting you to commit to it, to make a decision, make a choice, and then move forward and follow through on it. I feel sometimes we don't follow through on some of the things that we're wanting to do because of the many reasons that we have. Right? Maybe it's people in our lives that we feel are keeping us from um, doing what it is that we desire to do because of maybe energies of fear within us, fear of what is this person going to think or how, how are they going to feel. Uh, I'm getting an energy where some of you are givers, people pleasers, right? Um, and you don't like to see other people um, struggle because of you or to feel a certain way because of you. So you almost cater to that or um, I don't know what this is. This is really interesting. And you're strengthening that version of you that is able to say no, that is able to actually take your power back and stand in your truth and not be afraid. And it's a choice you're making. This person has chosen a wand, an energy that they resonate with, that they have now committed themselves to, dedicated themselves to move forward in as that version of their true authentic self. So this is opening you up to this completely new journey, new direction in your life. Things are going to start to shift. Things are going to change even with your desires. I feel some of you are going to choose or desire to do something that you never thought you would want to do. Perhaps life is just taking you in that direction when you're where you're finding yourself experiencing things that you didn't really know you enjoyed. And spirit is calling you to follow your heart, follow your passions, follow your desires, follow the excitement and that joy, because that is what's leading you towards your desired reality, your desired experience. And again, the sun has this beautiful, vibrant, energetic energy, right? We are being blessed with this energy through the 1010 portal, everyone. This is where spirit is reminding you of the creator energy within you. So the number three is a very creative number. It's a number of self-expression through creativity, um, expressing yourself in the way that you desire to, and not to be afraid to do that. You're going to experience a lot of expansion through this as well. So I'm seeing you seeing a bigger picture around your world. This is these two cards combined. And there's a lot of things you're going to learn here, everyone. A lot you're going to learn about yourself and your actual desires. I feel some of us are gaining clarity around our desires at this time. And what's happening is you're because you're gaining clarity, you now have a clear picture of what it is that you actually want. And maybe it's not what you previously thought you desired. I'm getting a different uh, direction here with this. Now, some of you are going to find yourselves traveling. Um, changing uh, environments here. And I'm seeing travel around romance. So I'm seeing a long distance relationship, a connection that is coming in for you that is going to help grow your life. Not that you need help growing your life by yourself, but this is just an addition, like a cherry on top. It's an extra. And I feel there's a uh, compatibility here. There's a mutual understanding between the two of you. And both of you are experiencing um, this new life experience with each other uh, in each other's lives, okay? Um, so expect some travel here to actually be really positive experience for you, everyone. You're, some of you are also going on business trips here. Perhaps you're looking at how you can um, 
build this kind of a future where you're living somewhere else or um, maybe you have a long distance romance and you're kind of picturing yourself waiting to make the move or kind of waiting for things to line up for you to actually be with a certain person somewhere in the world right or have that job somewhere in the world or to um, have your business grow around the world all kinds of things expansions right so these are the things that the energies that are around us and the things that we're desiring to experience in our life so spirit wants you to, to act now okay this is ultimately what this card is asking you to do is take that action step now and start moving towards what it is that you're waiting to do i feel that if you're going to continue waiting then you're going to get really good at waiting so it's time for you to take that action now is the opportunity that is allowing you to be free of anything that is holding you back from following those desires right this is a card of freedom right this is a card of action you have to be an active participant in the co-creation of your desired reality everyone and without your participation your action things don't happen they don't change and effort it goes into the energy that we put out there and again it starts with your mindset and it also uh, can, your actions count the kind of energy that you put out there how you choose to show up in your world this is why you have the sun card right we've got a sun here it's not a sun card it's the three of wands but we have a sun here rising every single morning there's a brand new day here for you to take action and create what it is you desire to experience in your life this creation of this reality is going to come through you and spirit is showing you through your life's experience right now those of you that are watching and resonating with, it, with this reading there's an experience you're experiencing right now where the message is very clear it's almost like they were trying to strengthen you maybe you need to prepare more maybe you need to organize your life a little bit more have a calendar schedule things right I feel order is going to be important for some of you and strategy planning set a goal and make plans to reach that goal don't just set it and not have a plan right so for me I have a lot of different goals but I have a calendar so every day for every day I know exactly what it is that I'm doing that's my plan and the action that I take to actually accomplish my daily goals I have some now for uh, three months because in January I have this goal I'm trying to reach and I've got a lot of things that I have to do in between but as long as I show up as long as I commit up commit and show up for them and do the thing that I'm saying I'm going to do this is where I start to see a lot of expansion everyone and you're going to see that you're going to claim victory you're going to see how far you go ahead with having an actual plan and following through on it not allowing distractions to get the best of you understanding all the things that do distract you and kind of keeping them away from you and getting somebody waking up early in the morning maybe you desire to wake up early in the morning so you have time to do more things um, to make another dime is what I'm getting here in the background to make another dime and you know financial freedom is within this card's energy as well because this knight is holding a pentacle that's the energy of money and perhaps you have an opportunity to really grow or advance somewhere in your finances in the wealth sector so I really feel that if you have an idea a desire you've been wanting to act on but there's something that's been holding you back maybe there's like all these kind of reasons they want you to start taking steps they want you to actually visualize you living that experience uh, that uh, desired experience have a clear visual around it imagine it walk around in it hold that vision for 30 seconds feel it who are you in that vision that is the version of you who you want to become now and start to take the action steps in order to free yourself from that old version of you and step into this new version that crushes it like you are a crusher libra they're showing me the word crusher here and they're showing me the drinks crush crush or crushers are there crushers i don't know if you drank them when you were younger i'm getting the grape colored one so that's interesting they're taking me back to someone's childhood there's something that you desire to do when you're young but maybe that dissolved maybe you thought about it here and there but it's coming up now maybe there's something in your childhood you talked about I'm getting some of you conversing with someone as a young child having deep conversations and it has to do with your future and I feel you're being reminded of this per per person or you're reminiscing over these moments maybe you miss somebody someone that's passed on that is sending you messages right now showing you this opportunity that you have that might not be as clear as day it, as it is to them but it but they're trying to show you that 
It's here now. You need to do this thing. Don't worry about the fear that's there. Let that fear go. The fear is just an illusion. It's not real. If you give that fear your energy, you're feeding that fear and the more of that you're going to experience. So just cut the tie and do the thing that you want to do and see yourself move forward, right? Um, I always find that sometimes we forget that we have to actually put energy and effort into the things that we desire to experience, right? And we have to put our energy out there. It's the energy that we amplify, right? And I feel there's a lot of what they're showing me is um, Care Bears, right? Care Bear countdown and then they blast their light. Care Bear stare, I'm getting He-Man, she -Ra. Like you have to access that power and blast it out into the world, right? It's not gonna just show up without you putting your energy out there, right? So if you're gonna put your energy out there, you're gonna see that energy coming back towards you. And what this card is asking you to do is to put your energy out there, be an active participant in the co-creation of the desired reality you want to experience, right? That's all there is to it. And you're gonna see how you break free from this old reality, this whatever it is that you're living in, especially if you're not happy there, Maybe you're happy in your life. That is great. And you're ascending and you're coming to a place where just you consistently taking action, doing the best that you can, you're going to experience things that you never realized that you could experience. So a lot of amazing things are happening here for you. All right, Libra. So this is what the 1010 portal is bringing in. I'm now going to read a bonus message from the spirits, messages from the spirits of nature oracle. So let's see what it is that spirit wants to share with you through this deck. So desert, thirst, the number 10. Some of you might be resonating with this image. Perhaps you live in an area that's like a desert, near a desert, right? Uh, maybe you're seeing the number 10s. That's coming as a confirmation as well. So if you're seeing the number 10, this is a confirmation of this message. Some of you might be born on the 10th of the month sometime in the year. Um, maybe you're a life path number one. So this is the number one, is the number of the creator of the manifester. And you, my friends, are a magical, a very powerful uh, manifester. All right, so the message for you today is for a geographical area to be called a desert, it has to receive 10 inches or less of rain per year. Typically, we think of both heat and dryness as features of all deserts. But though cold deserts such as the Arctic and Antarctic do exist, the commonality of all deserts is their intense dryness. Lack of humidity, particularly when accompanied by extreme heat, forces your body to shed its natural moisture quickly through your skin, sweat, and urine in attempts to cool down the body, or at least prevent it from overheating. Due to the release of these fluids, you can become dehydrated rather quickly. Your parched throat is the first sign of the lack of much needed liquid. The longer you go without replenishment, the more impaired you become. Eventually, you become singularly focused on finding water for your dehydrated body. It's no wonder that many refer to water as lifeblood, which accurately describes this vital and necessary element that helps keep our bodies in balance. The message here for you today, Libra, is it isn't a lack of water that is calling your attention now, but a vague awareness that something is missing. Your life feels rather dry and bereft of anything that will quench that thirst. All your attempts at finding relief so far have been misdirected as you have been pursuing habitual patterns that, while familiar, have not fully satisfied you. There remains that feeling of lack, of internal dryness that you haven't been able to pinpoint but can feel as a heartache or malice. This is no thirst of the body but a spiritual thirst, a dryness of the soul, one that can be satiated only by drinking from the well of spirit. It's important and, and, and uh, now to attend to the spiritual deprivation by practicing sacred meditation, prayer, ceremony, or any other means that aligns with your higher power or your higher self. Heeding the inner promptings to express your creativity in any way that calls to you is another way to bridge to connecting with spirit. Honor that calling and note how it satisfies that spiritual thirst. So look at that, Libra. Desert, thirst, that is your message today, your bonus message. So let's go ahead and pull an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. So look at this. We've got two cards. I'm going to read this one here. 
Be comforted is, is what Spirit is asking here or saying, be comforted, Libra. If you're seeing this number 3636 anywhere in your life, this is a confirmation of this message. And the message here is you're being given support during hard times. Those of you that are going through hard times right now know that you are supported by Spirit. Call on your Spirit Guides to bring support to you. If you feel you're not getting the support you need, you're under divine guidance. Spirit wants you to focus on self-love, everyone, taking care of yourself and your inner peace. This is so, so important. And I feel for some of you, you're meant to put up some healthy boundaries. Okay. All right, everyone, I'm super excited to announce to you that my sister-in-law Katomi has put together her Christmas ritual box. Now, these are available right now. I have the link for these in the description box below. This is a protection box. There is a purpose behind this. It's going to come with full instructions on how to use this kit. It comes with two candles. Each of these candles have a stone. One of the candles actually have a tassel, okay? The stones in these candles are going to be consecrated. So you're going to put intentions in these candles and you're going to be able to carry these stones around you after the fact. Now, there's only a limited supply of these, everyone. So the deadline for these, the last one you can order is on December the 5th. And we wanted to get these out early because last year we sold out of them. So again, secure yours today. I've got the link for these in the description box below. All right, so before I end this video off, I just wanted to mention to everyone that I just opened my memberships page. It's been almost a month since it's been up and running. So if you're somebody that really enjoys my channel, enjoys the work that I do, and want to see more of what it is that I'm doing, you can join my membership page. Now, the first tier is open. That's at $2.99 per month. And what you get here is custom emojis that I've made for all of you myself. All right, and there's stories behind each one which I'm going to share with you throughout some posts uh, over the next little while here in the membership section of the community page. So once again, feel free to join my membership page, especially if you're wanting to support me at this time. So this is your message, this is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.